Hello everyone. Uh, in this video, we will make the game called Space Invaders. Uh, we'll develop this game in pure uh, JavaScript and HTML5. To render this game, I will use the Electron JS. Uh, means uh, uh, when we develop this game, uh, we will be using the JavaScript and the HTML file, but the render of this game will be happening in the Electron JS, and it will be my kind of desktop application, kind of desktop game. Later on, you can make this game as installable and you can install in your system to play this game. So uh, this game we will develop. So let's proceed. So already I have taken the project folder here and these are the package and uh, electron components, electron reload components already I have downloaded. I have done this setup. These setups you can watch my previous video where there, there I have explained how to set up the project for the electron JS and you can create the window for that. So you can watch that video. So I'm skipping those steps and I'll proceed to develop the main logic for the game. And al also I have opened these uh, changes into my uh, v VS code. and you can see in the package digestion just to quick intro uh, in the package digestion i have do, done the changes so this is my ma main file is uh, my main .js and the dependencies are electron and the electron reload dollars also i have added okay and inside the html file i have taken the canvas element to draw the animations of the game and i have taken one paragraph element to display the message uh, in the game if we have any okay and also the style tag just to indicate the background color of the canvas then to remove any margins we have in the tags okay and inside the main.js i have taken the required modules from from the electron and also i have added the required electron reload here to give the live preview of if i do any changes in my html file or in the a space invader.js file and i have created the function to create the window game window and i'm calling when the our app is ready so these things you can find in details in my previous video i have explained in details there okay so let's proceed let's check if it is working fine so i'll do the npm start and you can see yeah the desktop is rendering fine and this is my canvas this is the default height and width of the canvas okay so uh, let's first we'll go inside the my custom javascript here and inside the javascript i'm using my own model which i have developed and this model also i have explained in details in previous video you can check that if not uh, then i can quickly introduce you that inside this i, am, I have taken the class that is the uh, canvas 2d graphics inside this class i have a lot of functions to draw the image or the two circles to the ellipse to draw the line rectangle basic which we draw inside the canvas those functions i have taken so instead of using the context uh, dot uh, uh, inside the uh, we can take the context from the canvas and then we can draw like begin path and then fill rectangle fill uh, fill circle those things we can have but uh, there we have to separately say the uh, style color uh, style with those things right it is it is not required here just you just have to call this function with these parameters and it will give you the uh, preview of that uh, what you what you want to draw here so th for that purpose i have used so inside the video description link i'll send this file the link of this file you can download and you can use that for your proposed project purpose okay and inside this uh, module i have also added the uh, module color start and stop uh, this stop is for start is for the i'm doing the animation so you can see the when we import this start module it is expecting the loop function and the that loop function will be repeatedly called in by the request animation frame uh, by this and you can stop that too by giving the idea of that so this this is also uh, I have done here. This is a recently enhancement I have done. So we'll import only the these two uh, canvas graphics and the start model into my ca space invader.js. So let's do that first. So we'll import import then that is object and that is from and then colon dot and that is that is my model name. And what we need we need the canvas graphics and the start and uh, to draw to draw the any animations first we have to clear create the object of this class isn't it then or with the object we can have the access of all the functions which is present inside this class so let's create that so constant we need the canvas that is equals to the document dot get element by id and that id of the canvas element is canvas you can see here the id of the canvas is canvas and below we'll create the object of this canvas so canvas uh, graphics graphics object that is equal to the new canvas 2d graphics and you can see here it is expecting the canvas 
element here so let me put this down for the time being we'll, we'll see when our game is uh, uh, will we'll develop then we'll see this uh, how the animation is having we'll see that later so uh, that should be the canvas element which we got now and the width of the canvas will set so width equals to the uh, window dot inner width and the height equals to the uh, window dot inner height but uh, what we need is since we have the paragraph tag here below we want to display that message so we cannot give we cannot give the uh, entire uh, uh, entire entire height of the canvas uh, entire height of the window because we uh, we we'll get we'll get the uh, vertical scroll bar here if we give so i don't want that that is why i i'll, I'll remove some margin of this from the side so around say 30 pixel i'm removing from that now let's say the canvas width and height so canvas width equals to the width and then the canvas dot height equals to the height and yeah we can save and you can see uh, while doing any changes it is not reflecting into my um, here so what i have to do is for, i have to link this file inside my html here so below the this diff file let's uh, include this file and uh, include that js file so it is a script that is type will be the module type will be the module and then the source will be on uh, the js js and that is my space in js as soon as we'll see you can see the changes has happened right and this is the and here we'll dis display the message and this is our game window for to draw that so now let's proceed the logic so first of all uh, what i need is i need the uh, star field view in the background uh, that it will it should look like a space okay so for that i need to draw the stars here in the background in the random positions in the entire canvas so let's take that uh, variables for that so let's take the game variables game variables and that is uh, first of all uh, the where the uh, star array okay and let's take the function function called the star so function function star and the star will have the x position y position and the size of the star right and let's set the properties for that this dot x equal to x this dot y equals to the y and this dot size equals to the size and in below that let's get the function to draw the star so draw stars that will be the function and uh, below function will draw that so to draw that what i'll use i'll use my object here which i have created using my model after import right so let's clear that one so canvas graphics object now you can see uh, these are the methods available for me to draw i need the fill circle to draw the stars it will be circle point so the position will be this dot x this dot y then this dot size and then the start angle zero then in angles two times method dot pi it should be the complete circle and the directions could be any you can take the true or false here so we can, i will take the false and then the color which color you want of the a point i want in the white color okay so this is done so let's uh, let's take the for loop here to set up uh, the stars inside this array so for loop for stars so function uh, sorry it should be four for let i equals to zero is less than say around i want 100 stars inside the star array so and i plus plus then the uh, star array dot push and that will be the new star and then you can see it is asking x y and the size so i want the random x and y position so we'll use the math dot random and uh, it should be times the entire width of the canvas so you can take the width and the y position that also i want in the random so math dot random and this should be entire height of the canvas and then the size so that also i want in the random so math dot random and the size you see it will go from 0 to till 2 pixel this is the size so it will set up and now let's draw the function below let's draw the star below so create the function function to draw the stars so function draw stars and here we'll take the for each of this uh, star array so star array dot for each and then let's take the star as s okay and then we'll draw the star draw stars and below we will call this function once so draw stars we'll call this and save you will see 
now the random stars are placing you will reload then every time you will see the new positions of the star this is the background of the game okay so now next part is uh, we will draw the alien and that will be in the certain number of columns and the row and uh, below will draw the uh, spaceship so let's take the function for the alien first so here and below the star here so function uh, alien so function alien and the alien will have the x position y position and the size and the the color of which color you want to draw the alien so we'll take this one let's say the properties for that x equals to the x this dot y equals to the y and this dot size equals to the size and then this uh, dot color equals to the color and it will take one more properties for the alien that is whether it is alive or dead to determine that so because when we draw the game when the bullets will hit that alien then it has it should not be drawn on the canvas right for that we will take this uh, a, a property that is live and initially it will be true for all the aliens so when we set up we'll set up this alien to the array then all the aliens will be live and with uh, when we play the game then it will, will change that later on in the game logic so let's take the function for that to draw this so alien dot prototype dot draw alien that will be the function and inside the function we'll draw that so what we'll do same same object what we have here like this i'll draw that so to uh, what i have done is already i have taken the draw of this alien and i have drawn the uh, alien by putting the uh, color with the pixel pixel wise so let me copy that content already i have this one and already uh, I have done this before I'll explain in the after doing the paste of this logic so let me copy this and paste here and you can see the same canvas object I'm using here what I have created here and I'm using the fill rectangle to fill the, fill the uh, dot at the particular x and y position with the size and uh, height of the particular uh, rectangle then when I'll draw it with a certain number of rows and column then I'll get the image of the uh, canvas so um, let me uh, take the variable and create the object of that and when we draw that then you will see how it is done so let's take the object of this here so below the start array so where alien that equals to the new alien and let's take the uh, position as 100 comma 100 and the size as say around uh, 3 and the color as white and let's draw this alien at the below here so alien dot draw alien and now you will see that when a small alien is drawn here right you can see this is I'm drawing so let me increase the size of the pixel then you will understand so here instead of 3 let's take as 10 so you can see how I'm doing is I have the uh, uh, I, first of all in the first row I'm setting the uh, this is the start position for me X then after three position of the pixel I'm drawing this one 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 box here then after the uh, eighth position I'm drawing one box and in the second row I'm drawing these two points in the third row I'm doing this in this this line this box then the fourth row I'm doing uh, drawing this one this one and this one so while drawing in the entire eight row I'm getting this uh, image of the canvas so, so image of this alien so instead of that uh, you you can you can use the image also you can find the image on the uh, internet and you can use that for drawing the but uh, for my use uh, for the my game I don't want it to use any image I just wanted to do in the plain JavaScript just uh, I don't want any assets for that so that is why uh, I have taken this up so you can use this uh, to draw you can use this piece of lines uh, to draw the aliens with the different color you can want so you can just take these functions and then you can do that okay so this is done so let me let me take the this pixel size I have right so let me take that as a constant variable here so here I'll take the constant variable so that is pixel size I'll set it as 3 and while creating the image I can pass that here the pixel size okay so it will be fine you can see so this this is drawn here so but in the game uh, we want the Two dimensional right certain number of rows and the columns then we'll draw the aliens and it will move down and left and down so let's do that so uh, first of all I need the uh, number of column and the row so column equals to say 8 and the row equals to say 4 
four rows and eight columns aliens I want to draw. So and let's take the uh, variable here that is called the alien array alien array and that will be array and let's take the for loop for that to set up the uh, object of this alien inside this alien array so for uh, let i equals to zero i is less than the column and i plus plus then for the alien array of i will set this also as an array then for let j equals to zero j is less than the j is less than the row row and j plus plus and we'll say the alien array of i and j i and j that will be equals to the new alien and that the positions of how we want so i times the 50 plus 50 and then j times 50 plus 50 uh, plus 50 and then the uh, size uh, size I want in the pixel size and the color so color will be the random based on the uh, what not the random you can say based on the conditions of which row it is so let's take that variable here so let the color let me keep this down and the code in the top here so the color will be equals to the uh, say when j uh, mode uh, row means when j divided by row that is 4 the when the remainder is equals to 0 then I want in the different color so you can take the ternary operator uh, the color I want in the red if not then I want the j uh, module row mod row if it is equals to 1 then I want the different color say that is uh, the navy blue and then if not then it should be the j uh, mode row if it is equals to 2 then the I want the pink uh, light pink and if not then I want the say wheat this color so you can see there are four different colors I'm setting here so this seems wrong here so this should be uh, it just should be the question mark here then this if equal to navy then this should be colon here so if you can see when j, j j mode row equals to zero then red if not then j row j row j row mode row equals to one then navy if not then if it is two then light pink if wheat and it will sit inside this uh, here so let's pass the color over here so that is color now let's uh, take the function to draw these aliens in the uh, rows and columns so below the uh, here uh, among this uh, stars function the auxiliary functions we draw here so function to draw the the aliens so function on uh, draw aliens and here we'll take the loop for that two dimensional loop we'll take that is for each so alien array dot for each and this will give me the first I mean the rows of this uh, yeah, the two dimensional for rows it will give me so that is alien row and then for each row again we will loop that so alien row dot for each and here we will take the alien as a uh, variable here and then we will draw that so uh, alien dot draw alien now you will see let's call this function below this draw alien here along with this let's save so we may have problem let's check we'll go here in the view developer tool yeah we have error console and the draw alien is not a function because not defined correctly so we have taken the wrong loop maybe yeah this is wrong it should be the row right so copy this and replace that so now you can see so you can see now the row has and this is in the two dimension it is drawn here and let me remove this uh, alien object here I don't need this so we'll remove this and below also I have this call so I'll remove that here so this is fine the alien has been drawn now now let's draw the uh, uh, let's draw the uh, spaceship here in the below at the bottom so uh, first of all let's take the uh, let's take the one function here for the aliens to update that and later on we'll change we'll, uh, I'll make I'll mark it as a to do so so alien uh, dot prototype dot update alien 
and that will be the function and we'll mark this as a to do we'll change this later on to do okay and now let's take the function for the spaceship function spaceship and the function space ship and that will be the uh, it will take the position as a x and a y and the size of the spaceship okay and now let's say the property this dot x equals to the x and this dot y equals to the y and this dot size equals to the size okay now let's take the function for the spaceship to draw so spaceship dot prototype dot draw spaceship that will be the function and below uh, we'll draw that so how i'll do is i will take the x and y position here and the left side of that and the right side of that i'll draw the some pixels i'll draw the some fill rectangle to do so that it will be my kind of the spaceship so let's take that here so uh, it will be the canvas graphics object dot fill rectangle and then the position will be this dot x the first point the main point will be this dot x this dot y and the size will be this dot size and this dot size i want a small uh, box here and the color i want the say in the red and uh, I, this is the point from which the bullet will fire so i want the small rectangle box there and okay and below i'll do draw the base of that so canvas uh, graphics object dot fill rectangle rectangle and this dot x minus say uh, it is two times the pixel size and then uh, instead of pixel size you can say this this dot size because both will pass the same value so this dot size then the y position will be this dot y plus the this dot size size and then the uh, the width and height so width i want say four times so so four times the pixels otherwise this dot size and then the height i want two times so two times the uh, this dot size below yeah this will be size okay so and the color i want in the white color so this is done so uh, how i'm doing is let me create the object of this at the top and then you can see that how it is drawing right so let me go in the top and let's get the uh, object here so where spaceship that is equal to the new spaceship and that the position will be the x position will be the at the center so with y2 and the height will be y position will be the total height minus say three times or otherwise or uh, ten times the uh, pixel size and the uh, uh, yeah uh, the, uh, so, uh, yeah minus uh, ten times pixel size and the size i want the pixel size so yeah we got the give the parameters now we'll call uh, using this object we'll call the function draw spaceship here so spaceship dot draw spaceship now you can see the smaller spaceship at the bottom let me go open this yeah you can see here this is drawing here right this is red dot is point where from the bullet will fire and this is not proper so let me take the width more here so i'll take this as a five times that's it now it looks good right a small dot and below i'll draw the another base here so let's take that so canvas object canvas graphics object dot field rectangle and this position i want this dot x minus say uh, four times the pixel size uh, pixel four times this dot size and then the y position will be already we have taken the two times here you can see already two times we have taken so two plus one will be three times so this dot y plus uh, plus three times the pixel size three times this dot size okay and then the uh, then the uh, width and height so width will be uh, this we have taken five so two pixels from left and two pixels from right so it will be nine times i believe so nine times the sorry uh, nine times the uh, this dot size size and the height i want say three times the pixel size this dot size and the color also i want in the white color so this is done i believe let's check how it is looking like yeah 
this is my uh, tank he will move this and from this point will fire so my tank is drawn here and uh, uh, I'll, I'll, now I'll take the function to update that and we'll make mark it as to do. We'll change later on spaceship dot prototype dot update spaceship that is equal to the function and we'll mark it as to do. Okay, fine. So we have done that. Uh, now we want the function to the bullet uh, and the bullet can be fired from this uh, spaceship and from and from the aliens. Okay, so let's take that function to here. So that is uh, function bullet bullet and that is function bullet and bullet can have the position x and y and the bullet uh, we have to determine whether the bullet is from for from the spaceship or from the alien right so let's check that is a spaceship uh, means if it is true then which means uh, it, this bullet is for the spaceship if not then it will be from the aliens right so let us let's set the properties this dot x equal to x this dot y equals to the y and this dot uh, is a spaceship that is equals to the is a spaceship okay now let's take the function to draw that so bullet and dot prototype dot uh, draw bullet that will be the function and uh, below will draw that and to draw the bullet I will use the field rectangle so uh, canvas graphics object dot field rectangle and the position will be this dot x and uh, this dot y and the width I want the pixel size only so pixel size and then the and then the height of this bullet I want two times the pixel size so two times the pixel size and the color say I want in the white color okay so done now let's uh, take the function for update also for the bullet so bullet dot prototype dot update bullet and we'll make a this is a function and we'll mark this as a to do we'll change later on okay so done so we uh, we took all the components which we need to draw now let's give the animation to this uh, game now so first of all i need the animation for this my alien so what it will happen it will move to the right side then come down then left side then come down then right side it will keep on moving till it will go to to us full down okay so let's take the variables for that to do this uh, and I, since it, it will move left or right so I'll, I will have the we will call direction we will make it as a 1 we'll, by default it will move to the right side then we when we will move to the right side then it will have certain number it will move to the right then it will move to the left so let's take the alien moved that alien moved that is equals to initially 0 ok and inside the update function of the alien here inside the update function will pass the uh, what speed it will move to the right side so let's take the speed here speed and let's uh, do the changes for the alien so first of all uh, uh, this dot since it will move with the x position so this uh, first we have to check uh, uh, this uh, sorry uh, if the moved uh, sorry alien moved the variable we have taken if alien moved is uh, 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 is equals to equals to 4 means 4 times it has moved then below uh, will uh, will do condition like we'll move that to entire this uh, array to the down if not then we'll uh, change the position right so if not then if the alien mode if it is less than four then it will this dot x plus equals the speed uh, of the x direction it will move right and times the direction so uh, direction if it is by default we have given positive then it will move to the right side and uh, in, with this condition when it has moved certain number you can see when it is greater than or we can see equals to or greater than here if equals to or greater than 4 then it will, it will change the direction so let's do that so uh, direction multiply equals minus 1 we change the direction and then y position of all the all the aliens array for we have to give right we have to shift down so let's take the loop for that so alien array dot for each okay and let's take the alien row and we'll take the loop for that so alien row dot for each and let's take the alien as a variable here and uh, uh, let's change the alien dot uh, y plus equals say with the 10 speed it will move 10 pixel down it will move okay and uh, 
uh, when this has moved to the 10 pixel then we will we'll set this alien move back to zero which we have done as while initializing this so this is zero so you can see initializing we have done with the zero here at the top you can see we have done with zero so uh, we'll set this back to zero and how it should be done is i want to increment every one second so i need to use the set interval function so let's take that function for that here below so set interval okay and the uh, that will be have the callback function so function callback here and below will have the interval you can this interval say i want uh, 1000 millisecond which means one second okay and inside that uh, we will call this we will update this let's take take the function to update that one so along with these auxiliary functions at the top here uh, below the alien door let's take the function function to update to update the aliens okay so function update aliens and here we'll take the loop of that so so let's take the for alien uh, array dot for each uh, let's take the uh, alien array as a row and then for each row alien array dot uh, for each then we'll take the alien as a variable and let's do the and here we'll update that one so uh, what we'll do so alien uh, alien dot update here update alien we have will pass that okay so that the direction speed say i want with the six uh, six pixel uh, the speed is by default six pixel for each alien will move that okay so and uh, and so we'll call this function inside the loop here so update we'll call this function inside the loop below in the set interval we have here right we'll call here so update alien and we have to take this as a moved, moved interval so move alien moved alien move that is plus plus every one second it will update so you can check uh, i will check if you have any error we don't uh, so update aliens it's not moving so uh, we'll go to the uh, function update aliens we'll check one more time if you have any error so alien for each row for each alien we'll move to the right side with the position x and y and then i will go inside the update alien function below here and with the speed we are moving and if uh, alien move is greater than four then direction change fine if less than if it's less than four then this dot x plus equal to this dot direction speed that looks good but it's still it's not happening okay so function Uh, we didn't call the draw function here right so that is why it is moving but we have not updated the draw function for that so let's let me take the loop for that to draw this it is my mistake so let's take the function of uh, uh, function uh, function to draw the game so function draw game and that inside that's inside this will draw this uh, all the object what we have so these things will draw and and first of all, we'll draw the star field below or uh, at the top. And the top of the background should be a star, stars, right? In this page, that is why. And then we'll draw the space and then fine. So let's take this, uh, uh, let's take the interval loop function here. So here, uh, what we can do is uh, um, uh, take the loop function. So uh, function game loop, okay, and that is function function game loop okay and below we'll take uh, we first will clear the can uh, canvas so clear canvas and then i have the zero comma zero then the width of the canvas and the height of the canvas okay and uh, then we'll call this uh, game draw game here right okay and let's take the inside this already we have imported the start model here so start model it is expecting the loop function so it will be the game loop function for me let's take this 
you can see uh, after updating uh, when I have called inside this then it will move this certain number then it is coming down then it's moving left then coming down then moving right this is what I wanted so it is done so this is achieved okay the next point is uh, we have to move the uh, this our spaceship with the left and right so let's take the events for that so uh, here above the interval function let's take the events okay so document dot add event listener and that is uh, I want the key down to place any button and that will be the function and let's take the event as e and let's uh, give the condition so if e dot key code if it is equals to 37 means if it is left then we have to move this uh, spaceship to the left right so to make this uh, let's take the variable here to move to indicate whether it is left or right for the uh, spaceship so here is left that is equals to the false initial value and then is right that is equals to also false okay and we'll set that here inside the uh, that uh, event this one key down event so here so if it, if it is 37 key code is 37 means that it is left then is left equals to true true and then is right equals to false okay and else if e dot key code if it is equals to 39 means it is right then the is left that will be equals to false and then is right will be equals to true okay so it is done uh, let's go to the update of this uh, uh, spaceship update function of this spaceship so you can see here uh, let's take the speed of that so a speed okay and here we'll change so uh, first of all we we'll add the since the spaceship will move in the horizontal direction not in the vertical direction for me so this dot x plus equals the uh, speed okay and uh, we'll check if the uh, if the if the spaceship has moved in to the entire left or to the uh, entire right side of the canvas so we'll we'll give that condition if uh, this dot x uh, minus uh, we'll take the minus because we have drawn the uh, uh, spaceship till the minus four times the size right so minus four times this dot size if it is uh, less than zero then we will say this x position this dot x equals the four times the this dot size okay else we'll check if the this dot x plus the size to means the rightmost side of the uh, this spaceship so we can see the size we have taken till nine pixel so i believe it will go till from the x it will go till nine pixels so here this dot x uh, plus nine times the this dot size okay if it is greater than the width of the canvas then in this case we'll set the exposition again so x equals to total width of the canvas minus the half of that so this is around uh, then uh, so so it will take half of that so not the four it should be say around five pixel and we'll take here five times the pixels so otherwise this dot size okay we'll set that so okay done so let's let me create the function to update this one so here along with the other functions we have at the top here uh, below here we'll we'll take the uh, update uh, function update function update spaceship okay so uh, function update a spaceship and that uh, we'll check if it is is left then we'll move the spaceship dot update spaceship and that will be since it is left so it will be minus say four pixel and else if is right then it should be a spaceship dot update spaceship then it will be plus four okay and let's call this function inside the our loop function so we have the game loop function here we'll call that now let's check if it is working fine as i have said and i'm moving yeah you can see it is going to left and then till right this is fine okay so now next task is uh, uh, you can see when uh, still uh, when i'm pressing this left then I still keep on moving since we have not added the key up events because if it is key down then it is uh, is left or is right is being true always for any one condition so let's add the another event here just to uh, document dot 
add event listener that is key up key up and in this case I'll not take any events I just want to reset this is left is right to false so is left that is equals to false and is right that is also equals to false okay so done now you will check uh, here and when I'm pressing it is moving and then when I'm uh, moving the key up then it is not moving so this is fine and now next task is I want to fire the bullet when I'll press the some space button say then I want to fire the bullet from this red point so let's take the function inside the uh, uh, spaceship here so as a prototype function so that is spaceship dot prototype dot uh, fire bullet and that will be the function and inside this uh, we will write the logic so we'll check a uh, uh, spaceship will fire the bullet one at a time uh, will give so until uh, so means uh, one bullet is fired and when it is expired then the another bullet it can fire so first uh, how we'll do is let's take the array of the uh, bullet and for the bullet can bullet can be fired from the spaceship and from the alien right so we have to take the two array here so let's take that here called bullet uh, that is spaceship spaceship array and then bullet that is alien array okay and uh, inside that we'll set that so we'll check if we if we if the length of this spaceship array is zero then only we'll try to add the new bullet inside that right so here inside the mm, here uh, inside the uh, fire bullet function so we'll check if the uh, bullet array a spaceship array dot length if it is equals to zero then only I will add that so bullet array dot push that will be the new bullet and the position will be this dot x and this dot y and you can see it is asking whether this is bullet is for the spaceship or the alien so of course this is for the sp spaceship here right we are firing from the spaceship so this will be the true okay done okay and let's take the uh, function here to uh, to fire that so we'll take the event here uh, we'll may, uh, let, me keep, let me keep it down and along with this uh, uh, key down event here we'll just take the event uh, as a key else if he dot key code uh, if that is equals to the um, 32 means it is a space key we have pressed in this case we'll check again here if uh, the bullet a uh, space array is length if it is equals to zero uh, then only we'll fire that so we'll and uh, then we have the spaceship dot fire bullet that function we'll call after this okay so this is done now we have to uh, once uh, once we have the bullet inside the array now we have to draw that right so I think already uh, we have taken the bullet function and we are drawing here so let's take the uh, draw functions for the bullet so he, uh, along with those functions here let's take the function here function draw bullets okay so function function draw bullets okay and we'll have the two loop here one for the uh, spaceship and one for the alien right so for bullet uh, spaceship array uh, dot for each since, since it is uh, one dimensional array so one for each is enough so let's take the bullet variable as b and then and here we'll draw that so b dot draw bullet okay and for the same for the bullet uh, alien dot for each and let's take b as a bullet bullet and then here b dot draw bullet so this is done let's call this function along with the draw functions of the other functions where we are drawing so we are drawing inside the draw functions let's call here okay and let's give the update of we'll, we have to create the update function also for that so we'll go the we'll go to the bullet update here and the when bullet will update it will have the speed of the uh, bullet right so speed uh, it will have and Let's, uh, since bullet will move in only in the y position in all in y position not the uh, x position so we have to set only the y position so this dot y plus equals the speed okay and we'll, we'll say that so uh, okay so 
uh, we'll, we'll add the condition here. Uh, uh, so what conditions I want is, uh, first of all, uh, when the bullet is fired from the uh, uh, this spaceship, then it can go till uh, till the total top of the canvas, then it will disappear. Then those bullets will remove from this box array. Then the, then this spaceship will fire the another bullet. Okay. So for that, let's take the condition here. If uh, if uh, uh, this dot is a spaceship, means if the bullet is for the spaceship, then we'll check uh, that that is uh, check if bullet bullet missed. Okay, so uh, bullet missed. Okay, so here missed. So it is uh, if uh, this dot x, sorry, this dot y, if it is uh, this dot y, if it is less than zero, in this case it is missed, right? So then we will remove from the uh, array. So bullet space array dot splice, and that will be this comma one. We'll remove this. Okay, done. The same thing we'll do for the else else uh, if that is not this dot is a spaceship then this is case for the alien and for the alien it will go full towards down that is total height of the canvas so we'll take that conditions here so check if the bullet missed here also missed and this is if this dot y if it is greater than this dot y plus two times the pixel size because uh, uh, pixel size uh, because uh, I have taken the height of this uh, uh, bullet, you can see here, I have taken two times pixel size. That is why I'll take the two times pixel size here. And that is uh, y with the y position. If, if it is greater than the height of the canvas, in this case, this is also missed, right? And that is uh, and the bullet uh, alien array dot splice. And that will be this and one. Already will remove that one, okay? So uh, let's take the update function for this. So I will go. We'll take the update function for the bullet. So along with these functions here at the top, below the dot bullet, we'll take the update, update bullets. Say function, function uh, update bullet, bullets, and here uh, we'll take the for each loop, right? For both the uh, array of this bullet. So for so bullet array. Of alien uh, spaceship dot for each, and here let's take b as a bullet and and b dot the update bu update uh, update bullet, and it is asking the position x since this is for the spaceship, so it will move in the y directions in the negative, so it will be minus um say minus the speed as minus three pixel, okay, and for the bullet array, for the alien, so for each. Let's take b as a variable, then on uh, then b dot update update bullet, and then it will move downward. So with the speed as say same plus three, okay. And let's call this function uh, inside the update function that is with the game loop here, right? Along with this spaceship. So here we'll call that. Now let's check if it is working. So what I'll do, let's let me place the space here. Now you can see after placing the space, it is firing the bullet, and when it is over, when it is crossed, then only I can fire the another one. If it is not, then you can see I cannot fire the another bullet. So this is fine, which I need, and uh, also the the alien is not firing the bullet any because we have not given the condition for that. So let's take the uh, random because the the alien will fire the bullet either randomly, right? So I want the random uh, uh, one of the object, and this uh, this alien should be live. Then uh, the, those aliens can fire that. So okay. So let's take the function here uh, along with this at the top. So here, uh, fire bullets bullets from uh, aliens. Okay, and that is function fire fire bullets from alien okay and that will be the function and what we will do here is uh, let's take the uh, i want to pick the random value so i'll not take the for each instead i'll take the uh, standard for loop so for let i equals to zero i is less than the column and i plus plus and then for let let j equals to zero j is less than the row and j plus plus 
and I want to pick the random value. So first I need to identify the random value. So let's uh, let uh, uh, random that is uh, i that will equals to the math dot random uh, times the the total column and let me floor this so that I'll get the integer value of this isn't it so math dot floor math dot floor so this will give me the integer value by multiplying the so it will give from 0 to 7 as a integer value so let uh, if it is a column is 8 so let uh, the random uh, score z that will be equals to the math dot floor and then it is math dot random and then multiply by uh, uh, sorry row and yeah so this will give me the random 0 to 4 okay uh, sorry 0 to 3 uh, and then I uh, will pick uh, will pick up this one so before that we'll check if the alien is alive so if uh, alien array of uh, random i and the random j if it is is alive is live then only it can fire so I'll alien array of uh, random i and the random j then I will call the function called fire bullet okay and uh, fire bullet uh, so inside the array uh, inside this alien let's take the fire bullet function so uh, we, load the, we have the alien function here uh, we have not added the function here right to fire bullet so we have to uh, we have to take this function so fire bullet function we have to create so below the update of the alien I will uh, alien dot product product prototype dot uh, update uh, sorry fire bullet that will be equals to the function okay and here so let's do the changing for that so proto alien proto the fire blade equal to function so fine so what it will do is it will also check if uh, if the uh, if the uh, 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 if the bullet of uh, alien array dot length if it is equals to zero then the uh, uh, bullet array of alien dot push and it will push the new bullet and the, for the bullet the x and y position i want the uh, I, I want the uh, the center of this right so x will be the uh, this x plus the exact uh, center of this and then y will be down here so this will be uh, this dot x plus the 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 total width of the uh, of total width of the bullet you will see here you can see i have gone till up to the 10 pixel right here right so this will be half of that so it will be five times five times the uh, uh, this dot size okay and then the uh, y position will be the this dot y plus the you can see the number of row i have taken is around eight so this will be eight times the pixel size uh, eight times this dot size okay and then the, you can see there is a spaceship no this is not the spaceship so it will be false okay and this is done so let let's uh, how then uh, at what event it should be fired so i want to fire the bullets from this each alien at every one second so already we have the already uh, let me create the function that function will call inside the inside the uh, we have created the function right the update uh, uh, where is that function so we have the fire blade from the alien right this function I want to call every one second already we have the interval function here uh, you can see here and this here, interval function here we'll call this here uh, every one second the random alien will fire the bullet you can see now uh, this random alien right anyone firing the bullet every one second and that is happening uh, when this bullet is expired then another bullet it will come and then it will fire so this is happening as I am expecting so this is fine so now what I need is uh, now I need uh, when this bullet will hit to this any of this alien then it should not be drawn right it should not be drawn and uh, and then again it again uh, you can fire the next bullet so let's take inside the bullet function uh, here update uh, bullet update we have here let's take the array here uh, we'll take both the uh, uh, space and ship and the array also so uh, alien array and then a spaceship also because I, I, wa I want to check the conditions for that uh, whether bullet has been hit by either from the alien bullet has hit the spaceship or the uh, spaceship bullet has hit the alien right for that I need this uh, uh, as a parameter here and inside this if it is a spaceship then if it is bullet from a spaceship then it will loop through all the aliens here and then it will hit that so let's take the four so alien array 
dot for each and uh, uh, let's take the uh, alien array uh, alien row that will be and inside the alien row uh, we'll take the for each again for each and let's take the alien as a alien as a one of the uh, one alien as a variable here and okay and inside that uh, it should be the row okay so inside that uh, we'll compare the uh, uh, the x and y position of the bullet with this alien right for all the aliens so we'll check if the uh, if the this dot x bullet x position plus the and the uh, this dot size uh, uh, bullet we don't have size so it will be basically pixel so this dot uh, otherwise this uh, this dot x plus pixel size if it is greater than the alien uh, alien x position x position and the this dot x plus uh, this dot x should be less than the alien alien dot x plus the total width of the alien so total width of the alien uh, already we know that it is 10 times the uh, size right 10 this is the width is maximum 10 10 times so we'll take the condition as 10 times here so it is this dot alien uh, 10 times uh, 10 times the alien dot size okay and when this x condition is made then we'll check the y for y condition so this uh, dot y for the bullet y if it is uh, less than if it is less than the uh, uh, if it is less than the alien alien dot y plus the height of the alien so height of the alien is ten, 8 rows right so it, it will be say I want around 7 just to indicate that proper impact has happened so 7 times the uh, alien dot size okay so in this case the bullet has hit the uh, hit the alien and then we'll uh, we'll make this alien as a uh, is alive equal to false so alien dot is live uh, that will be equals to the false and then uh, we'll make the uh, game uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll uh, uh, we'll check the game over condition also here means so how many uh, bullet has been hit okay how many aliens has been hit so let's take the variable for that so I want the few variables at the top so one of it is like uh, is a game over uh, okay is game over and then I want the uh, number of uh, alien hit okay and number of alien hit that is equals to zero and then uh, yeah and, the, and so uh, yeah so this this is uh, this is uh, what i wanted so every time when this hit then i want to increment this so here inside this uh, loop function below uh, where we are hitting here so we'll check uh, number of alien hit that is plus plus we'll increment that so we'll check if the number of alien hit number of alien here that if that is equal to the total number of row times the column uh, uh, row times column then means it has hit all the aliens in this case the game is over right uh, game is over that is equals to true and in, we have not said this game is over to false in the initially we have to say this false so here at the top let's say this as false game is over equals to false initially okay and uh, uh, so let's say they will take the one variable to display the message like game is over and then you can uh, start the game so let's take the another video here called the message that is equals to blank initially okay so here uh, even the even game is all over so let's take the message set the message as haha -ha, I'll uh, uh, dare me uh, dare to challenge again challenge again okay so this is the my message okay and then uh, so we have said this while drawing the alien uh, we have the draw alien function right at the top you can see uh, we have draw aliens here and I have not taken the condition whether it is live or not so let me take that so if alien uh, dot is live then only I will draw this so let's take this uh, this call inside this uh, condition so here I uh, will say that so so let me save so now it is done so let's check if it is working so we'll go here and let's fire the bullet okay so let's fire the bullet we have we have error let me check if we have so yeah we have error so the cannot reach for the bullet update uh, where it is so alien array dot for each alien row and then inside the bullet update we have the problem okay so let me check 
so we will go inside the function here bullet update uh, we have bullet bullet update uh, for the bullet function below yeah here uh, we are checking if the uh, bullet update for alien array dot for each alien row then alien row for again for each alien then this dot x bullet dot x and the plus pixel size if it is greater than the alien and then this dot x is less than the alien x size x position plus 10 times the alien size and then this dot y it should be less than the alien dot y plus these uh, seven times the alien size this is fine then in is like equal to false so uh, let me check here let me save uh, let me fire the bullet here again uh, this is not happening for the uh, uh, not happening for the spaceship uh, uh, inside this this dot if not is uh, what is the condition let me check the debugger condition so update uh, here console the each for each is undefined for the bullet update bullet for each alien or oh, because we didn't pass here right this is my mistake so here we, we, we when we are calling this function we didn't pass the alien that is why it didn't find this alien array here so we'll, let, let's see where we are calling this inside the here we are calling right we didn't pass this alien so let's pass that alien array and then the spaceship also will pass now it will be fine i believe yeah we don't have error we reload this okay and now let's check if fire yeah it is firing now you can see we'll, we'll see if it is hitting yeah working fine but you can see uh, we uh, since uh, we didn't uh, spice that as soon as it is hitting that is why you keep on removing all the aliens right so here we have the uh, we have the update uh, alien uh, update uh, bullet of this function so we'll go here and as soon as if it is hit let me remove that from the uh, array for bullet bullet uh, space array a uh, spaceship array dot uh, splice will remove this and one so now it will be fine one bullet will hit one alien so let's check if it is fine so let's take the random value yeah this is working fine now okay so this is good now let's take the condition uh, when the uh, uh, when the uh, this uh, bullet from the alien will hit to the the spaceship so here below this uh, else condition uh, we have the spaceship already uh, we have taken the value here right a spaceship parameter we have taken we'll compare with that here so we'll check if the this dot x bullets x uh, if plus the uh, the pixel size pixel size if it is greater than the left side of the alien right so left side of the space so left leftmost part of the spaceship will given by the x position and x position and below we have that one right so while drawing the spaceship x position minus four times this dot size so we'll check that one so if for the for the bullet update here if this dot x plus uh, pixel size if it is greater than the spaceship dot x minus the five times sorry uh, five times it is i believe yeah four times four times the um, pixel size four times uh, four times this uh, spaceship dot size size and uh, the uh, this dot x uh, this dot x should be less than the rightmost portion of the spaceship so it is uh, in the spaceship dot x and plus so already we have taken uh, the size so size it is going till 9 so let's take the 5 half of that around so it will take the 5 times so 5 times uh, the spaceship dot size okay and the y position so uh, this dot y uh, it should be the greater than the the y position of this uh, spaceship so spaceship dot y in this case the bullet has hit the uh, the alien bullet has hit the spaceship right and then in this case the game is over so we'll say this is game over equals to true and then we'll say the message uh, messages uh, haha uh, uh, so from this this is from the alien so alien and then haha we got you we got you okay done 
and uh, uh, this is done so to to check the conditions with this game over let's go to the update functions and draw functions here right so here update function the game is done is happening but the update will not happen so if the game is not over then only the uh, will do the update if not then will not do the game update and here we'll, we'll put this two function call inside this if condition and same thing we'll do for the alien also in, in the set interval function so let's take if the uh, is not game over then I want to update the aliens so we'll call this three we'll put this three statement inside this if condition so this is done let me format this fine let me check if it is working fine for me so we'll reload Okay, bullet firing is not happening uh, uh, because the game over we have not set. If it is not game over, then fire the bullet and then let's take the uh, it is true. We are setting this true, and initially we have set this to false here at the top. So if game is false, then only this will happen. So this is this seems fine, it should be working. Uh, this is not happening so let's check the condition of uh, where we have done false so below inside the here this is fine inside the if condition of the bullet yeah here we are making a slide equals to and this game over if the alien number of alien hit equals to a column so then this is done so this should be plus so initially we have set this to zero right in the top number of alien hit and that is zero said that yeah this is zero and we will check if the number of hit aliens equals equals to uh, the column times zero then this game over equals to true this seems fine okay Let me check if we have any other error. Console and that property X is undefined. Yeah, we have some error. So which X? Spaceship dot X. Spaceship dot X. Yeah, because that uh, will check uh, we have not passed correctly inside this uh, uh, update bullet function. So inside this, uh, this they are saying uh, this spaceship dot x is not defined and uh, we have passed this here and inside the update bullet function at the top yeah we have passed the spaceship here and uh, yeah for this uh, alien we have not passed this is my mistake so this should be the alien array and then a spaceship now it is fine now we don't have error you can see right everything is fine now so let's reload this one more time okay and now let's take firing the bullet yeah working fine and then when game is over like now you can see that it is done but game animation is not happening it is stuck then so what will happen uh, when the game is over then what we'll do we will take the one event key down event that is called enter when you press the enter then i want to reload this game game again back so let's take that uh, message here so inside the uh, loop function below here uh, below the canvas clear we'll take the document dot uh, uh, get element by id that is the msg that is for the you can see for displaying the message inside the paragraph that is id is msg inside that we'll put the inner html inner html that is equals to the message first then plus the uh, plus the please enter please press enter please press enter to restart the game To restart the game okay and let's add the event for restart here so we'll go inside the uh, events we have we have added so here and we'll take the one more condition here that is else if a dot key code if it is equals to one three one three key code for the enter key if it is there then window dot location location dot reload we'll call this so now let's check if it is fine so we'll go 
and let's take the yeah oh, it's missed yeah game is over then press enter reload is happening so this is fine so another another game over event could be that all the aliens when it is updating then when it will reach to the till bottom till the position of this tank here right then the alien is win in this case so we'll take that also so let's go to the uh, let's go to the uh, update alien function so we have bullet update here and then a spaceship here update alien uh, 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 it is moving down so here let, let's take the another for loop and for all the aliens we'll check if the alien is live and if it if it has uh, moved to the till down so we have to pass this one spaceship relative right so a spaceship will pass because the alien will have the relationship with the uh, relative to the spaceship while giving the conditions for the whether it has uh, it, it has touched the spaceship so we'll pass the parameter as spaceship here and uh, we'll compare now so we have uh, a alien array dot for each and then inside the uh, let's take the alien array uh, sorry alien row uh, as a mm, variable for this and then alien array alien row sorry alien row dot for each and then for each let's take the alien as alien as uh, variable here okay and we'll check if the uh, alien is live is live and then only uh, we'll check the condition if uh, uh, alien dot y if it is greater than alien dot y plus the eight times the eight times the pixel size otherwise alien dot size dot size if it is greater than the uh, spaceship y position right in this case the game is over so the is game over that will be equals to true and then the uh, message we can say haha -ha, uh, we got you again haha -ha, we got you and that will be from the alien message will be from alien so we can make it as call alien has been okay so this is fine so uh, well we have to pass this spaceship right so let's check where we are calling this function so update alien so we'll have the uh, call somewhere right inside the update function so here we are calling let's pass with the spaceship spaceship will pass now this is fine so to verify this uh, let me uh, update this uh, y position of this alien with some last value so we have the update alien function uh, inside this uh, uh, bullet alien uh, below we have alien functions uh, no. yeah here yeah. spaceship alien uh, we are drawing here uh, so you can see initially we are updating with y position with the uh, uh, 10 right let me update with 100 and now we'll see some larger value increment then we can verify this so you can see by default it is showing me this text i'll remove that uh, first let me verify that if it is hitting that load so we have to put this in the right side and we'll see here yeah, coming down fine then pull down one more time yeah you can see the message haha we got you please start this is fine so this condition is working fine so let me uh, change this back to 10 and inside the while drawing the uh, message we have this uh, text message drawing here right because we have not given condition here so we'll check if the uh, is game over then only i want to display that message and if not then i don't want to display that message so let me copy this and we'll put inside this condition so this is done okay and you can see we don't have message and this is fine so this is working fine and you can play this game as well so uh, this was the game guys and uh, one more changes i can do is uh, this uh, uh, by default we have a menu bar, right i want to hide that so i'll go to the module here and this one sorry main.js and then i can change this main auto hide menu bar to true and let's save and then reload this one more time and now you can see this is the game for me and this is nice can play so this was the game guys and uh, thank you for watching this video